Hi guys, Sharon from Not Martial Decorating here. One of my lovely followers has asked me to say, do a video of how we clean brushes with um, oil-based products. Um, so anything that's not water-based obviously needs cleaning and how we do that. So I thought I'd show you. So I've recently used a product which definitely needs cleaning with some sort of brush cleaner or something like that. This is actually a cheapo nasty brush from say anywhere like Screwfix or <clears throat> being cute, <clears throat> anything like that. Um, so the best way I've found to deal with these brushes once you've used them, so it's anything like oil-based gloss, uh, any kind of uh, solvent-based product, like if you're doing wood staining or something like that, is this. Take a bag, give it a good shake, and straight in. Perfect, and then throw it in the bin, just like that. Done. <clears throat> and you can do it if you're using a roller, same thing as well. So don't even bother. Like, why would you bother cleaning your brushes? <laughs> anyway, so they're so cheap. Just go to Screwfix, get a cheap brush, deal with it. Go and watch the football, do something you really want to do. Don't be standing there cleaning your brushes. However, if you are feeling like you've got more time than sense, you can get, say, I love these, these Dowig Books coffee jars. You can stand your brush in a brush cleaner, so um, white spirit, brush cleaner, anything like that. You can actually stand in there up to the brush line so you can actually fully cover it. I'm not even going to go down the road. I'm not even going to waste my breath on that because, as I said, I've already given you the best one. So water-based brushes, which is what we use all the time. This one looks like that beforehand. I don't know about you, but I absolutely hate, <laughs> I hate it all down the handle. It's like, why? Uh, there's no need for that really. So as you're working, I like to have a bucket of water near me and I stand it. I don't get it up the handle anyway. Um, I use, I actually use these gloves when I'm working. So it's a bit of a tart, I don't like it on my hands. Um, but if it has, if you have lent your brush to somebody on site <laughs> and it ends up like that, then um, we're gonna have to deal with that. So what I do is I actually take a knife and gently scrape it off the handles. I give it a good soak in something like this, Virasol. It's really cool, really, really foamy. So you only need a little bit a uh, ratio to your water and I just soak it in the sink probably about 10 minutes or something like that and then I just gently scrape it sometimes the wood comes off as well but you can just give it a little light sand it should come off quite easily if you've been really good and working clean with the brush all the way through your day because sometimes when I'm using a water-based product as you know I spray anyway so I don't often use a brush for uh, woodwork um, which those products for woodwork have got sort of more um, harsh uh, compounds really that make them less easy to deal with uh, cleaning through the day than say an emulsion uh, which is just a matte product for the walls uh, so what I've done is I've soaked, I've soaked this brush, I've soaked both of them scraped the handle and then what I do is um, I literally will run it upside down through the sink so actually I found this is the best way to get the paint from these bits here um, take one of these pads give it a good little clean up around there a little knife to get all the bits off of here like that and then I'll run the tap so it goes upside down like this and you can see it running through from the water so it will look clean but you've still got a bit in the edges there that's going to cling to it and make it really nasty when you come to use it again. So I literally do that and make sure it's not too until you get the brush run clean. So I'll do that and then a little trick I learned from someone on the site, thank you super, he's probably not watching, um, and I will actually leave it really wet and I'll leave it in that shape. And then I'll either put it in my bucket ready for next and I'll stand it upside down like that. So it'll keep its shape but drain some of the water out and then I will just leave it like that. When I come to use it again, it'll be rock hard, but don't fret because literally you'll fan out the bristles like that, shake the water out and it's ready. And that's it. That's how I deal with dealing with my cleaning brushes routine. See you all soon.